Developing this morning, the Writers Guild of America and major Hollywood studios reaching a tentative agreement on a new contract, which means a possible end to the now 146 day strike that has brought much of the industry to a standstill. Cleo Green is with us here in studio this morning, and it could take a while for our favorite shows to come back, Cleo, but potentially good news for viewers. Yeah, Mark, let's start with the big news this morning. Uh, the Writers Guild of America West tweeting a tentative agreement has been reached after 146 days. They sent this letter out to all writers saying we can say with great pride that this deal is exceptional with meaningful gains and protections for writers in every sector of the membership. Here's what you need to know this morning. This three year contract still needs to be finalized by leadership as early as tomorrow. Now the tentative deal comes after five straight days of talks between the union and studio reps over several sticking points, including the regulation of artificial intelligence, staffing minimums and residual pay. Once this deal is done, late night and daytime talk shows will return within days. But scripted shows, they're going to take a bit longer. Do not forget, the Actors Union has yet to reach a deal. All right, on to the United Auto Workers Union strike. Now in uh, week two of this, they've been busy tweeting videos and pictures all weekend long from the pickets line. Uh, this one from last night with Representative Alexander Cosa Cortez and Representative Cory Bush joining the striking United Auto Workers of Wentzville, Missouri on that picket line yesterday. So a lot of videos, a lot of pictures here. Here's what they want. All right. Now in week two, the picket line as that strike expanded to parts of distribution centers. They could expand to about 38. That includes a GM center in Roanoke and a Stellantis center in Carrollton. UAW workers, they want a 36% pay increase, pension benefits, a four day 32 hour work week and more paid vacation time. But Major automakers say they can't meet those demands because of the cost of transitioning into electric vehicle production. I do want to mention here that President Biden plans to join the picket line tomorrow in Michigan. Former President Donald Trump also plans to talk with auto workers that following day. And Kara, Mark, here's the big thing. Yes, you may not need a new vehicle, so you may say, well, how is this strike really going to affect me? They are affecting auto part dis distribution centers. So if you need a part for your car, it could take some time. That might not happen until this strike has reached a deal. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, good point. All right, thanks, Cleo, mm -hmm. for the update.